Alrighty, what's going on guys? Hope everybody is doing good. So I finally found the time to actually do the update video on Mad Max. It's just been crazy busy. Plus, don't forget we're leaving in about a little over a week for our Maine trip. So we're headed to Maine, me and six of the guys and part of the crew that I ride with. So we're heading to Maine. We're gonna be heading up into New York State to Lake George, meeting Danny. Danny's from Canada, so he's gonna be riding and meeting us at Lake George. And then we're gonna be going straight east through New York State, through Vermont, through New Hampshire, through Maine, and then we're going to be heading straight to the Maine coast. So we got ourselves a whole house, Airbnb, for five days, and basically we're gonna be staying there, and just every day we're gonna be riding. We're gonna be riding all the way north, south, up along the coast. We're gonna show you guys those amazing places, and then we're gonna be going, heading like far north into like Caribou, Bangor, Baxter State Park. So we're gonna be doing a lot lot of riding and basically that house is going to be kind of like our hub our center point I purposely actually got the house kind of in the center where we want to do all our riding so this way we're not like really doing unnecessary miles so basically we're just gonna be doing all of the riding in the radius in hundreds and hundreds of mile radius around that house so I can't wait to bring you guys that content. If you guys are new to this channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna actually bring you guys like a packing video, show you guys the Rick Rack system, a bunch of other cool products that they sent out to me uh, for this trip. It's just gonna make life a lot easier. Probably next week, late next week sometime. But today's video is about all of the big changes that I made as far as the lighting changes go. First start off with, you guys know, I've been with, uh, Ciro's been sponsoring me for for uh, the past, I believe, two and a half years or maybe a little over, I'm no longer with Ciro. So I hope you guys understand. I'm sure most of you do. Sponsors come and go. Whether it was their decision or whether it was my decision, that's our business. Uh, just so you guys know, I try to stay with sponsors as long as I can. But you know, at this point, for me to give you guys the best, the absolute best content and to go to some of the amazing places that I want to record for you guys and show you guys like where we go and just get the videos uh, just to another level. Decisions have to be made. So whether that decision uh, was from a sponsor or from myself, that is our business. But trust me when I tell you any decisions that I do make, it's the sole purpose of making this channel better now and better for the future and to get you guys the best possible content. I also want to say thank you so much to Ciro 3D for sponsoring the channel for several years now and they they just been great to work with you know great family great family run business so I just want to say thank you to everybody out there from Ciro 3D especially Azura and Aero Rudd and I want to introduce the new channel sponsor for all of the lighting components on Mad Max that is Custom Dynamics. So they are the new sponsor. Mad Max is already outfitted with all of the custom dynamics components. I didn't wanna bore you guys with the actual install videos because there, there literally are hundreds, if not thousands of videos as far as how to install the custom dynamics lighting products. But I will show you Mad Max. I'm super excited because Mad Max is just looking better than ever. It's just looking so good. I did a couple night rides and I'm going to give you guys, uh, probably on the main trip, some night footage of how all the lighting components look and work. But as far as now, I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing. Love the products, super, super bright. We're gonna go over this headlight because literally this headlight is like a game changer. I have my old stock headlight there, if anybody is interested. The new Pro Beam Custom Dynamics headlight is absolutely insane, especially when you turn that sucker onto high beam. I literally don't need any other light, it's that bright. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the bike out 
show you guys the products, show you guys what I installed, because there was a lot of, lot of changes that happened. I actually probably dropped, I'm thinking, I'm gonna guess probably about another five to seven pounds, because there was some items that I actually had to take off the bike, some steel bracketry that I no longer needed in the back. So uh, yeah, so I'm super excited. Huge thanks to Custom Dynamics. Let's get Mad Max rolled out so I can show you how beautiful she looks. All right guys, so what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. So this is what we did. We did the windshield trim in all white. So what I did was I wanted everything in the front basically all white. You know how I like everything just white. I don't want any amber colors or anything like that. The only thing that is amber is obviously, let me show you guys like a turn signal. So that, windshield trim light is in amber when the signal is on and then you have the vent grill lights right there that are in amber and then you have the little side lights right there which i opted to get in gloss black you could get them in chrome but i opted for the gloss black i think it looks really good with the uh with them gloss black so that is the only those are the only three lights right there that are in amber and obviously same goes for the other side we have the windshield trim lights right there on both sides we have a pro beam custom dynamics x headlight double x headlight and let me tell you guys this thing is so bright i mean it's like a car headlight it's it's amazing then when you click it onto the high beam, it just, you literally could see, to, I don't know, 100, 200 yards in front of you, super bright, goes off to the sides really well, which I love. And when you turn the head beam on, it just really shines that light down the road. Super, super bright, looks really cool and menacing with the double X in it. I think it's like 4,700 lumens crazy and then we have right here which i love i didn't like the opening in the in the vents so we got the vent grill lights right there also in all black again all white lighting and that just it just finishes off that whole front end of the road glide like really really nice i just like the look of it better so much with the grills in them rather than just have it open 
So then moving over here, we got rid of the big chrome turn signals. I, I really didn't care for them. Didn't bother me, but I didn't really care for them. But once I seen these from Custom Dynamics, they're like, they're probably only about an inch, inch and a quarter off the fairing. They're really sleek, really bright, gloss black, or you could get them in chrome, love them. And then um, I'll show you something cool here. So we got the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam fog lights right here and let me turn them on for you i gotta i want to show you guys this so they're on now right but right now there's only if you guys could see there's only a halo around the light now these lights are super small and compact i decided to mount them a little differently we went with a top mount instead of an under mount mounted them on top also, this way, if you mount these on the bottom, you have to leave like a little drip loop on, on the wire. So this way, now I don't have to do that. Also, I just like the look of them mounted on top a little better than the undermount. And they're really small, compact, black. And so check this out. So I have them wired right now. As soon as you turn on the power onto the bike, the white halos come on, right? So let me show you, look at the headlight. Well, actually, let me, let me put you guys back on the tripod. So this way, this way you guys get a better view. So now check this out. I'll actually turn the signal on for you. So you got that amber, you got the grill light amber, and you have the little turn signal light there in amber. But like I mentioned, everything is in white. I just love how that looks all in white. So these, are just a halo when the bike turns on but watch when i put the high beam on they're not going to change watch the headlight see the headlight how bright that thing is but check this out it comes with a switch from custom dynamics you have to route the wires underneath the seat and i'm going to show you guys closer but right here i have a button that i installed on the left cover panel so now watch when I turn them on, then I get the high beam if necessary because that front headlight is so bright. I'm probably not going to need it all the time. So that's why I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna wire it automatically into the high beam circuit. So I wanted to have the option, if I have the high beams on and I don't need them, then I didn't, I didn't want them to be on. So that's why I installed the switch. So now I could just turn them on and off when I need to. So let me show you guys the switch. Really nice location right there. Hopefully you guys could see it. Okay, it's on the cover panel. And it's also perfect because it's in arm's reach when I'm sitting on the bike and I'm riding. My, if I drop my left arm down, it is actually in a perfect place where I just, I could hit the button. I don't have to reach for it, stretch for it. I just drop my arm and turn the high beam onto the fog lamp. But I mean, that, that just looks killer. So let me take you guys to the back now. Really, really simple installation, all plug and play. So check this out. So on the back now, on the bags, what I decided to do is we did, if you could see, I had chrome hinge covers here with the smoked, just a smoked reflector. So what I did was um, I opted in for the high gloss black hinge uh, cover with light and all red. So again, front is all white, the back I wanted all red. I changed out the hinge covers to the high gloss black with the LED, I'll show you, see, with the LED light in red and then coming to the back we have the Streamline, the thin, thinner version. They have two versions. They have a kind of a thicker version and a thin Streamline version for the bag light. So we have them. And then this is where it gets really interesting in the tail section of the bike. This is where I actually lost about five, I'm gonna say five to seven pounds. So I chose to have the small little tail light on the fender with the custom dynamics curve license plate bracket all in gloss black i picked everything i chose was all in gloss black and clear lenses not smoked because i want the bike as bright as possible so that's 
The curved license plate, really nice and small light. So this way it's like kind of, you know, minimal, but yet super bright. You can see the fender a lot now. This did go higher. That's why I had to actually put my logo, logo on the bottom. So this is where I lost the weight because if you guys remember, I had the filler panels in here. So I chose to have the filler panel light, but these filler panel lights actually get installed into the chrome frame that kind of that frame holds your fender, holds your bags and everything. So they actually just slide super easy with some 3M tape on the back into that cutout, into that notch, into that frame assembly. You just plop them right in. But in order to do so, you gotta take those filler panels off. Then there's actually brackets, like bracketry in underneath behind this fender that go here and then it goes from here underneath behind and then hold the fender from underneath because I, if you guys remember, I had that light on the bottom of uh, stock light, which I removed because I wanted to be able to see the tire as best as possible. So I kind of wanted to short. Now it's kind of all even with the bags, which I love. So all that bracketry is gone. So it just, it, like I said, it dropped probably about five, seven pounds. Uh, not qu quite sure, but that's what I'm estimating. And it just sinks those lights in deeper, making it, I don't know. I just love the look so much better because the, the filler panels were like out here, but now the light is kind of sunken in, but really, really super bright. Let me turn on a turn signal for you guys. So this way you guys could see. So I got, um, I guess you call sequential, uh, as far as the bag light goes, but let me tell you crazy, crazy bright at nighttime all in red, which I love. And when you turn, uh, I should say, when you hit the brake, when you depress the brake, it is just super, super bright. Everything in red in the back. So this way I'm visible when I'm riding at night, a car is definitely going to see me. And then I want everything in white up front. I just think it looks absolutely awesome. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of Mad Max looking good. Let me tell you, the bike is running fantastic. I got the ultra cool oil cooler on it. I'm no longer worried about riding in the heat, honestly, or you know, any hot day getting stuck in traffic. I'm really not worried about it anymore. Other than that, we'll see, you know, I might need a set of tires probably in a couple months. So I'll show you guys what I'm using. But like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna be on that main trip here in a little over a week and it's going to be really, really awesome. So if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. And we will see you guys on the next one. Also, let me know down in the comments below, are you guys rocking Custom Dynamics products? If so, let me know what you guys think but a lot of you have already said that the bike is looking awesome. All right, see you guys later. Peace out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.